She's some little Athena. Nice this tree is. Properly feels like spring here. It's really, really windy today, so I don't know if you're actually gonna be able to hear anything I'm saying, but it's the weekend. I um, have sent myself off on a mission to find breakfast, more importantly, to find pastries. So we haven't got a lot going on today. Um, I am waiting on an IKEA delivery. Yes, more IKEA. I literally can't get away from it. So I'm trying to get a few bits done before that turns up. Uh, which I think is coming later this afternoon. Anyway, so last night, Joe and I uh, went to see Beirut. We went to go see them at the Hammersmith Apollo and 17 year old me could not have been more excited. It was amazing, they were so, so good. Joe actually surprised me with tickets quite a while ago um, and we ended up losing them somehow. Didn't realize until this week uh, and we didn't think we'd be able to go, but we did in the end, so it all turned out well. We also uh, went and got dinner at Honest Burger. I feel like we're kind of doing our own little tour of the best vegan burgers in London, and that one was amazing. It definitely came out top for me. It was one of those burgers that's kind of like uh, real meat, so it's a bit confusing. Oh, look at that tree. It's just getting completely distracted by all the blossom trees around. It's so nice, it feels like spring. It is very cold though. I probably should have worn a thicker jacket because I am chilly. So yeah, would definitely recommend the Honest Burger vegan burger. It was so, so good. So other than buying breakfast now, uh, I also have to get some toothpaste. I want to pick up some flowers as well because we haven't had any flowers for a little while. I think there was something else as well, but it has completely escaped my memory uh, at this point in time. <laughs> introduce you to the sofa yet here on the vlog. This is by far the biggest piece of furniture that we have now acquired. Um, we actually bought this before we even, I think before we even had the keys to this place. Sofas take a long time, so we kind of tried to get ahead of ourselves, but um, it still took ages to come. Anyway, it's here now. So I found this on Colt Furniture, which is like an online furniture store, and it was, I kind of had to do a double take when I saw it because it was something like, 60-70% off the actual price. Didn't think it was real, didn't believe it. So I ordered one and it turned out to be just the deal of the century. So we had this amazing, it's actually a velvet sofa and I was kind of a little bit um, wary of getting a velvet sofa, but we've had it for a couple of weeks now and it's been totally fine. I'm not trying to be too precious about it because I mean, it's a sofa, it's the main part of the furniture in your house and you've got to sit on it and live on it. So we did go for a darker color. I think that's gonna help disguise anything that might happen to it if I, you know, spill. I'm quite prone to spilling. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna wear in really nicely. It's so comfortable. I've actually really missed having a sofa that has like a long bit to sit on. Many, many hours will be, and already have been actually spent here, sat watching um, Game of Thrones. We've actually finished, finally finished Game of Thrones. It's Saturday today, so the new series starts tomorrow. I think it starts at two in the morning. Uh, because they're showing at the same time as in the US. I'm not sure I'm gonna stay up until two in the morning on a Sunday, but maybe I'll have to to avoid spoilers because I feel like they'll be everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to stay off the internet until Monday evening when I can watch it, or when we can watch it, because I think Joe'd be mad at me if I watched it without him. So yeah, sofa is amazing, comfortable, love it, very, very happy. So I actually ordered a few um, bits cushion-wise 
to go on here. These are all H&M home. I've got my little ninja chop going on there because they just by far do the best home furnishings. So um, yeah, this throw is actually the first thing that I saw and I kind of based the color scheme around it. It is an amazing, amazing like burnt orange terracotta color. So nice, so soft. And then the pillows kind of have like the same color scheme. This one is really cool. It's got like a really vintage sort of print. Little little birdie on there, little birds and palm trees. Uh, and then over here, these two are a bit more plain. This one's just like a velvet, which is in the same color as the throw, handily enough. Um, and then I got this creamy, it's almost like a canvas, really nice with little tassels. I think these look really nice. I'm really happy with the way they kind of complement the color of the sofa. And actually, one tip that I do have if you're buying cushions, especially from H&M because they make it very easy, you buy the covers separately to the inserts. And I always buy a bigger insert than a cover. So these are really like squishy. Um, they don't feel like they're too empty because I've got an inner inside there, which is actually, I think like 10 centimeters bigger. So it's not huge, but it kind of stuffs in and makes it all squishy and really comfortable. So that is my tip for buying pillows. I also realized they are cushions, not pillows, because somebody had a go at me about that before. Sorry guys. And then the last thing which actually came today, the Ikea order arrived, is this rug. And you might recognize this because I have the smaller version in the bedroom. I love these jute rugs so much. I think they're so easy and they kind of go with everything and they sort of fit in with the whole neutral, neutral decor vibe. I spent so long trying to decide which size to get. There was a bigger one than this and I'm, I'm kind of feeling like the bigger one might have been better because it would have gone past the sides of the sofa, but it also would have come out really far. So I'm happy with it. I've still got the marble, good old marble coffee table on here, which I was thinking about changing or maybe changing the color of the legs. I was gonna spray paint them, maybe do them black, but now the rug's in. I feel like the gold sort of blends in and it works. So I think that's gonna stay. The last thing in here really is this print. I just kind of popped this up on the wall when we moved in because there was no else for it to go. But I'm thinking it might look better with some smaller ones. Um, or maybe moving this one to the side and having small ones around it. Not sure. Let me know what you think. I might even do a gallery wall. I've never done a gallery wall, but I feel like this wall could be the perfect space for that because it is quite large. So that's um, how the room is coming along so far. I'm also really into these tulips that I picked up today because you know, spring now. This vase came too with the, um, with the Ikea order. It's just a very simple like wide bottom bars. These are probably too small to go in here, but um, I really liked it. So I thought that was a cute little simple vase to have. I don't really have any vases. I noticed that when I moved. I have a lot of pots and things that plants live in, but no vases for flowers. So the last thing really, and the one thing I'm waiting on uh, for here are some chairs. This table has always been a bit of a pain when it comes to chairs, because it's, it's kind of higher. So when you sit here, you sort of feel like you're a small child, it's really, really high up. Um, so what I've done is actually ordered a bench and that's what I meant to do when I got this and I kind of never got around to doing it and then there weren't any that matched. But I have found one now, I've ordered one from Lara Du, uh, Lara Dute, I can never say that, which is coming soon. And then a couple of um, chairs for the other side. So there's a bench on one side and chairs on the other side you can sit on whichever one you fancy because honestly, these chairs that I have now, I really like them. They were about, I want to say, £20 when I bought them and they've not lasted too well. The screws keep falling out and they're actually quite uncomfortable to sit on. So although they look amazing, I've uh, invested in something a little bit, a little bit more sturdy and long wearing, I think. The next project that we have to do is the front room, which is going to be the office, which at the moment is an absolute bomb site. It's kind of where we've been chucking things that we um, don't know what to do with. So I'm gonna have my proper desk in there soon. Um, we've also got a spare bed, like a sofa bed thing, which is gonna be part where I film um, and then for people to stay over to. I'm kind of excited about how that room's gonna turn out. I think I'm gonna do something colorful in there as well when it comes to the walls. Not sure though, don't hold me to that. Which one's mine? Oh, one. Ooh, thank you. Rhubarb and ginger gin and tonic with a real rhubarb. Cheers. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sea is cold. Damn cold. Cold like your face. Like my face. Cold like your heart. Like my soul. Like your black, black soul. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. Just rested up a little five star meal. Oh, that was an eyebrow raise. Five star, isn't it? It is. How many stars do you get? Three star Michelin. 
Michelin like the Michelin man? Or Michelin? <laughs> anyway, uh, we've just made some vegan ramen bowls, which, if I do say so myself, looks quite tasty. I managed to make the tofu look edible, which is quite an achievement if, uh, if you're familiar with tofu. We've got dinner, the flat's clean, all the jobs are done, the laundry's on, we've got fresh sheets. It's a good feeling. What a wild um, Saturday night. We've got gin. We do have gin. The gin will save us. Let's get drunk. That's not. <laughs> in this little corner that I've managed to carve myself out uh, in this room. The amount of things in here right now is stressing me out and I, I don't really want to look at it, but it's nice and sunny in here. It was nice and sunny in here. So um, I've just come to sit and edit the vlog that you've just watched or that you're watching now. And I've realized that I don't really have an ending to it. I did want to show you guys some bits. I ordered uh, something or two things from Arquette, carrying on the conversation of sustainability and fashion, although I'm not sure that Arquette are a completely 100% sustainable brand, although they do, I think they're striving to achieve that. Uh, I want to show you guys what I got, and it's not here yet, so I will save that for another vlog. I also made the absolute schoolboy error of sleeping with wet hair. It's that combination of um, ridiculously frizzy and static and also stuck to my head right now, so I've kind of tried to disguise that with this little strategically placed clip which i don't think is actually doing anything at all not much to report to you now uh from today other than we did end up staying uh or we didn't stay up last night to watch game of thrones we set alarms and got back up again at two o'clock very sleepy eyed to watch it and it was great so i don't think we'll be doing that every sunday night but i did log on to twitter this morning and there was just a heap of spoilers so what are you guys doing out there with all your spoiling and uh, not thinking about others? How how unfair. Let people enjoy things. So yes, it's been a very sleepy, slow start to the day and I've just kind of been, uh, as I am on most Mondays, doing some admin -y stuff and editing and getting the video up. So uh, I don't really think there's anything else to let you guys in on other than I'm about to have some uh, reheated fajitas from last night's dinner for lunch. Exciting stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna leave you all here. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I asked this question on uh, my Instagram, I think it was maybe last week, but um, I've been doing a lot of moving vlogs and home content, which I know you guys love. I love it too. Decorating is life. Um, and there's gonna be a ton more of that coming up because I have big plans and things to do still um, and all that stuff takes a lot of time but I realised that I've kind of been neglecting any other content so I haven't done a lot of other things whether that's beauty and fashion stuff like that or basically anything else so um, let me know what you're missing on this channel because I feel like the moving stuff has taken over quite a bit and uh, you're not all here for that I understand so yes let me know if there is something that you would like to see that I haven't done for a while or anything else really uh, have a little have a little natter to me in the comments so yes, that'll be very handy. Thank you all so much in advance. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys here though, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.